We got some thunderstorms still with us here for tonight. This is the wet weather that rolled through the Snake River Plain, delaying and even putting off uh, some of the football games until tomorrow. But we are going to be stuck with the wet weather here in the forecast for tomorrow and Sunday with more of these spotty thunderstorms rolling up from the south. And at times you might be dodging a few heavy showers. Now, right at the moment, we don't really see anything crazy through the Snake River Plain. All that wet weather is now moving out of the Snake River Plain, getting into the Snake Highlands and pushing into the national parks, coming over the mountains into Teton County. So we still have some wet weather in the upper valley as you're getting into St. Anthony and areas around Ashton and further north into Island Park there, a little higher up in the hill. And then you're still getting a few lightning strikes, but this storm has lost a lot of its energy as it rolled through Idaho Falls, Rigby and Rexburg with some heavy showers earlier this evening. Now again, that wet weather moving into Yellowstone tonight, some drier conditions for the time being, but then we have more of the wet weather on the way. Temperatures down to the 60s and 70s outside. We got 71 right now in Idaho Falls and 70 for Blackfoot and Pocatello. We're in the 60s for Driggs and Jackson with the upper 60s currently for Salmon. Winds aren't too bad at the moment. Of course, if you're near one of these developing or dying thunderclouds, you're going to get some gustier conditions. But as soon as the thunderstorms leave, you're left with pretty much calm weather. Uh, no wind right now in Jackson Hole. Light winds out of the east at 7 for Idaho Falls and east at 10 currently for Idaho Falls. Here's a look at the big map as we take a look at high pressure over Texas and Oklahoma, low pressure along the west coast. This ridge of high pressure is moving towards us, and that low is going to continue to sit and spin here off the California coastline, meaning that we're still going to be seeing some wraparound moisture off of this ridge of high pressure. Plus, we're getting the warm air from the southwest, so that takes our temperatures into the 80s and 90s here for this weekend. It's going to be hot tomorrow, and we still have some showers and thunderstorms wrapping around that high for your Sunday. Monday's looking a bit drier, and Tuesday we're pulling in some more wind as low pressure will start to inch closer towards us. Vipercast tonight, the thunderstorm threat drying up for the Snake River Plain in western Wyoming, but tomorrow morning, huh, there's a bit of some wet weather just to get the day started in central Idaho and the Snake Highlands. And then we see more widespread storm clouds taking hold across the region, especially into central Idaho early in the afternoon tomorrow, and then we'll get the clouds through about the evening for the Snake River Plain. A couple of good boomers moving through, just like we saw today night could get some good downpours out there, especially as we go into the evening and the late night hours for your Saturday. We get into Sunday. Sunday morning's looking pretty quiet, but then Sunday afternoon, we're right back into that mess of a smattering of a thunderstorm or two. Monday, I mentioned it's going to be drier outside. We'll get some high pressure trying to dry things out just a bit, but we'll still have a few showers in around portions of western Wyoming and through the national parks. Highs in the upper 80s for McCammon, Malad, and Preston. Lower 80s for Lava, Soda, and Montpelier. Moving into Rexburg, we're at 86 tomorrow. Lower 80s for both Teton County, Idaho, and Wyoming, with lows back to the 40s tonight, and 79 for the high in Island Park. Watch Watch out for more thunderstorms in Jackson this weekend with highs in the upper 70s to lower 80s. We have a cold front that's going to move in next week that's driving in more wind, plus dropping temperatures back into the 70s by Wednesday and Thursday. Rexburg, a high of 86 tomorrow. We got 83 for Sunday. Moving over into the central Idaho mountains, we got 83 tomorrow for Chouse, 86 in Salmon, upper 70s towards Mackey. Here's your Salmon 8 day forecast. You'll notice the temperatures here in the upper 80s for Sunday and Monday with gusty winds dropping us back down to the 70s by Wednesday. Moving over into the Snake River Plain, Idaho Falls, Blackfoot, Pocatello, all about 87 to 89 degrees tomorrow. Still pretty hot outside, and the thunderstorms will try to cool you off tomorrow afternoon. We'll look for a few more thunderstorms in there for Sunday. Then we're picking up on those gusty conditions heading into Tuesday and Wednesday. Highs around 90 degrees for Tuesday, but down to the 70s for Wednesday. There's a definite front that's going to roll on through, and you see a Pretty dramatic drop in those temperatures from Tuesday to Wednesday. Watch out for the thunderstorms this weekend with Pocatello with highs at 89 tomorrow, 87 for Sunday. And Idaho Falls, we got 87 for Saturday, 85 for Sunday. We got the scattered thunderstorm threat in there for the next couple of days. We're pulling in some drier weather for Monday, but then watch out for the wind. Wind really starting to crank up again Tuesday and then lasting for the rest of next week as we go towards Friday. Temperatures are expected to take a pretty significant drop, though. We go from near 90 degrees down to the 70s. So the wind blows the front in, mm -hmm. we cool down, wind blows it out. Yep, pretty much. I don't wind. see much wet weather with that front. It looks like it's just more of a wind front for us. And the next week, fair? Fair <sighs> Labor Day weekend, yeah. yeah. Fair's going to start on Friday next week. It's yeah. going to be pretty windy to start the fair off. But then uh, next week after that, I mean, it doesn't look like we have anything crazy at the moment. Okay. 
All right, Michael, thank you very mm -hmm. much. Well, with